Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will learn how to use group by and count to aggregate data. These functions are essential for summarizing large data sets. Today we will use MySQL sample databases like Sakila and World databases to understand these concepts. So let's get started. So let's start by understanding what aggregation means in SQL. Aggregation allows us to summarize or group data for analysis. The group by class is used to arrange identical data into groups, making it perfect for analyzing data trends. With group by, we can take a list of data points and organize it by categories such as country, year or product type. Let's look at the basic structure of the group by class in SQL. Select column 1, comma, column 2. count of star from table name group by column 1 column 2 this code groups records by column 1 and column 2 and returns the count of each group So now let's jump into a practical example using the world database. In the world database, let's say you want to see number of cities. So we have a city table. Let's see we want to see number of cities in each country. So to use world database, we need to say use world and then execute. So now our active database is world. Next. Now let's write the query select country code comma count of star as city count from city table where sorry group by country code. Let me execute this query. You see here we have the country code and city count. This query gives us a summary of how many cities uh, each country has. <coughs> you can imagine how useful this uh, is for any type of geographical analysis. So try yourself and uh, see the output. Let's switch over to Secular Database, uh, which is a sample database model for uh, DVD rentals. Suppose we want to find out how many rentals each film has. So first let's switch to Secular Database, so use Secular and then execute. Sorry. Use Sakila and then execute this query. Now write the query select customer ID, comma, count of star as rental count from rental table group by customer id so this query groups the thing about group by is that it can be combined with other aggregate functions like sum average and max uh, for instance uh, let's say you want to find the total rental duration for each customer in the secular database we can uh, do this by using sum on the rental duration so write the query select customer id comma sum of we need to find the time difference between the rental date and return date so i am using the function timestamp diff so inside that we need to provide the interval that is hourly difference we want so hour comma rental date and 
return date so this one will give us the duration as total duration from rental table group by customer id let's see the output of this query so now instead of just counting the rows we are calculating the total rental time for each customer think of all the insights you could derive by using different aggregation functions by the way if you are finding this content useful do not forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more sql tutorials finally let's talk about uh, filtering the groups the having class allows us to filter data after it has been grouped say we don't want to see uh, so the, sorry we want to see only the customers that have been rented more than 50 times so in that case we can write select customer id count of star as rental count from table rental group by customer id having rental count so this count greater than 50 let me select and uh, run this query so we don't have any results yet let's say we'll filter to only greater than 10 and execute you can see in the list only the with customers who have whose rental count is greater than 10 only displayed in the result set so that's it for today we have covered how to use group by and count to aggregate analyze the data in mysql we looked at examples in both the world and circular database and even touched on filtering groups with having aggregating data is essential skill in sql and i hope you are excited to apply this in your own projects do not forget to subscribe like and share your thoughts in the comments below thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video